How about a live look uh, at Times Square, the crossroads of the world, as we call it, or just another neighborhood in our fabulous city? Mm. But uh, like everything else this week, it's about to get a lot busier, and, and not just because everyone's back in town, but it's Broadway week. Mm. Right. And so what does it mean? What is Broadway week? How can you score cheap seats to even some of the newest shows to hit the Great White Way? We got Joel Gargiulo in the house with a Broadway expert to break it all down for us. Hi, guys. My friend Richard Ridge of BroadwayWorld.com. I call him Richie because we've known each other for a hundred years. So, okay, so let's break this down for everybody. What exactly is Broadway Week? And how does it work? Okay, this is the week that all the Broadway fans look forward to. It is a two for one ticket offer. Say it again. Two, two for, for one, one ticket, ticket offer. offer. There we go. There we go. And how many shows are uh, participating okay, in this? There are 23 Broadway shows participating in this, and they're good from shows from today, September 3rd through September 15th. Okay, people have to take advantage of this because you could take a family of four for the price of two tickets. That's huge. All right, let's start with the shows that might not be on people's radar because they just opened or they're opening. What are those ones? Okay, the new musical Once Upon a Mattress, mm -hmm. which is based on the uh, Princess and the Pea that made Carol Burnett a star. It opened to rave reviews. It stars Sutton Foster and Michael Urie. The great thing about this year is there are two new plays that are still in previews. They haven't even opened yet. Mia Farrow and Patti Lapone in The Roommate mm -hmm. and Jez Butterworth's play direct from London called The Hills of California. Get the tickets while you can and, and get them two for one. Okay. All right. And then also what, what other plays should we have on our radar? Stereophonic, which just which won amazing. the Best Play Tony Award. And then you have Job and you have Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Okay. So let's get into the music musicals because everybody loves a musical. What are the newer musicals that are participating? Okay, Alicia Keys, Hell's Kitchen. Did you guys see that one yet over there? Did you no, see it? I oh no, my I want gosh, to. you, you know, got this is the time. That. Okay, so, okay, so we got yeah. Hell's Kitchen. Shana Taub Suffs, going into the election. Fabulous about the suffragettes. You've got The that Great Gatsby. Great. That's a great show. The Great Gatsby with Jeremy Jordan, Evil Noble Zada. <sighs> You've got The Notebook. Besides people who love the book and the film, you got Water for Elephants. Okay, and then what about some other favorites that aren't maybe as new on the musical side. Okay, we all know people who have yet to see Hamilton. Now but you can get your tickets now to you, Hamilton. Now you can get your tickets. Now you can get your two for one ticket. Two for one <laughs> tickets to Hamilton. Be in the room where it happened. Yeah, Moulin Rouge, MJ, all these incredible musicals, and Juliet. There's so many. Okay, yeah. what else? What else do we got? Wicked. Ah, uh, see it before the movie too, right? No, exactly, and I was at the show last week. Tony Award winning Broadway legend Donna McKechnie has just gone into the show as Madame Marble. The show looks like it opened yesterday. Oh. And then there is Chicago, which has run for 27 years, yeah. and both of us have a dear friend in that. Orfe, see Orfe on Broadway while you can. She's phenomenal. And But also, like I have to say, Chicago does such a great job of keeping that show fresh. And is, is it now the longest running show on American, Broadway? American, yeah. Okay, American there, musical, there yeah. we go, there we go. Okay, what else, what else did we leave out? Hades Town. We said we said job. Uh, the Lion King. So Aladdin. Like we said, a family of four can go for the price of two tickets. Both Disney shows are available. The Lion King, Aladdin, Back to the Future. Fans who love that movie, Marty McFly is on stage with Doc and the car. Okay, so it sounds like almost every show is participating. Should I just say what shows are not participating? Okay, there are only three shows not participating. Cabaret, The Outsiders, and Oh Mary. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, totally. How do people get these tickets? So First of all, if you want the whole list of all 23 shows, just head over to BroadwayWorld.com. Okay. But I think the safest way, you know, there are so many websites that people get like cheated on with, you know, overpriced service fees. Go to the official site, which is NYCTourism.com. All the shows are laid out there. You see your show, you press on buy tickets. The code is already loaded in. The tickets are color coordinated. You press, you buy, and you can buy an upgrade if you want to sit a little closer for a little more money. You can sit closer. Richard Ridge or Richie is. I call yep. you guys. Didn't I tell you he's the best? The best made my job so easy. Thank you very much. <laughs> Broadway Week. There we have it. I heard Paul. Yes. The theater. I, I heard two for nice. one. That's what I. Heard. I got shows to book. One. Yeah. Thanks. To Sher you. Shirlene literally made a list. Well, yes. yes. I love it. Hell's Kitchen, That's Wicked, it. Aladdin. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. Thank friends. you to both. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>